Hey heroes, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Welcome to my Curious Expedition 2 series. We're on episode 5. In the last episode, we went in search of Malin, who apparently used the key staff that was able to turn on the Palico gate, which, um, you know, this, this thing would allow us to create land and resources infinitely, thus solving, like, world hunger and need. But um, as Malin went through the gate she became insubstantial and we and the gate closed immediately behind her so we had to escape afterwards so let's see where we go today when i reported that malin had disappeared again perhaps for good this time the mood in the city was bleak in the interest of safety nearly all travel to the island was forbidden fortunately the explorer clubs were exempt from this rule well then i had found malin before and i could do it again this time i would not leave her behind so we got a huge amount of 34 tickets. Let's see what we can do here. I found the dealer skulking the dark alleyway. And anything good, anything good. Let's see, let me just take a look. They both have the animal symbol. So this is not going to, plus seven sanity from combat. That's not a lot of sanity. They, they should buff that. Uh, I need some armor, which is not good. Maybe I should level up some of my gear. I'm going to do that. Lux Labs. I'm going to upgrade some equipment. I'm going to see if I can upgrade my Storm Lantern. It only costs five tickets. I'm going to do it. So that gives me a search challenge bonus of plus three. Don't really know what that does. If I upgrade this one more time, I'll get a fourth um, die face, which is kind of important. No, I don't want that. Rest sanity, that's not great. Mm, okay, I'm gonna upgrade my Storm Lantern one more time. That costs us a lot of tickets. Now, if we upgrade one more time, it doesn't do anything great, so I'm not gonna do anything more. Let's see, club shop, anything good here? Uh, let's see, I want gloves, nah. Nah, 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 <laughs> there's a Yeti. Uh, Kintographer, engineer, we're not gonna go for any of that. Uh, let's see. I think it'd be time to... Let's see. Anything at the shop I should buy? Maybe some armor? Uh, let's see. Body. Equipable on the body. Max health plus 8 plus 4 sanity from combat. Oh! So we can have two ways to, to, to regain our sanity. Hmm. That's armor. Huh. I kind of like that, but we can't do anything with that. So let's leave. I'm going to use some of my tickets now to train my animals. I'm going to keep training. I'm going to stick with my tiger and elephant hope in the hopes that, you know, they become stronger over time. Okay, let's train again. I can train two more times. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Let's go select the expedition. Oh, now we got quite a lot of uh, expedition options. This option means that we're going to be in the highlands and we get additional tickets and uh, what's it called? Um, rank or whatever that is. Uh, hmm. uh, let's go to the highlands. I think we can do that. We're going to do it for Lux Labs. The night before I was to depart, the streets of Paris was awash with flickering lights of street lamps as I made my way to the bar. I could not help but notice a swarthy sailor standing at the bar, nursing a drink. He looked like he had stories to tell. The sailor told me he specialized in traveling around these disappearing islands. He told me much about his travels. With his story finished, the sailor reached into his duffel bag and handed me a small package of colorful marbles. It was a little something that should help me on my own adventures. <laughs> Thanks for the marbles. But, you know, they're they're good with the, the locals, so. Okay, let's buy some provisions. Uh, what is on sale today? Is anything on sale? We got some electric torch uh, increased. And that's nothing good. So I'm going to take my usual fresh lemonade. I'm going to add to, you know, I don't need to add too much to the color from marbles. I'm going to grab some potions, a little bit of everything, because I also suck in combat right now. Ooh. Okay, and I think let's take a torch. 
and a shovel. We can't carry too much though, so I, I, I have to be careful. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll leave me for four slots left. Not ideal, plus I don't have a lot of food. So I'm gonna grab some granola bars. There, I only have three left. Uh, anything, four, five, okay, let's go. Let's begin my expedition. The legends told of a great treasure among these islands, but there's only one problem. No one knew where it was located. Fortunately, Lux Lab had found a clue, an island where locals told of ancient circles of stone that were rumored to lead to this treasure. I would need to find the stone circles to uncover the true location of the treasure I sought. Okay, oh boy. Oh boy, look how hard it is to get anywhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, truffle pig first. Let's select, select uh, let's see, C, lowland pine forest. What's it there? Oh, I can't go there. It's out of range. Fine, just the lowlands. The truffle hog found red maggots. Um, restores health, decreases sanity. Whoa. Let's see. Uh-oh. How am I supposed to get anywhere in this in, in, in this map? Uh-oh, this is really bad. Oh, boy. I have enough experience to level up my tiger, so I'll do that. Oh, that'll give me, I think, a third a third die. No, that did not give me a third die. But it gave me a much higher chance to, to, to roll, so I'll take it. Oh, boy. You guys are killing me. Can I just... Nope. This is a hard map to play on. Let's approach the islanders. We met a small group of islanders led by a priest outfitted in a strange primitive accoutrement. We greeted them carefully, not sure what to expect. Let's do a screenshot. Activate. Beautiful. F2. The man pounded his staff against the ground declaiming loudly in their strange language. The fellow certainly had a penchant for the dramatic. Over time, he made himself understood. He was demanding that we pledge fealty to their heathen god. Sure. Placing my hands over my chest as indicated, I repeated the proscribed words. He seemed satisfied by my show of faith. After a time, I learned to communicate with the priest. He was anxious to move on, and I only had time for one request. Uh, let us ask about the village. They told me of the nearest settlement, giving detailed directions for the route. I thanked them and carefully updated my map, and this is a better um, screenshot, so apologies. I'm going to take that. There we go. I'm, doing, I'm pressing F2, by the way, to do that. It was time to go. So it's all the way over there. Okay. So I need to find stone circles. Let's see. You know what? Let's go here. Stop. Let's approach the islanders. I happened upon some islanders in the wilderness. They told me they had ex, ex uh, they they had expecting to see me after seeming an omen of my arrival that morning. A small turtle. I asked if there was a greater meaning to this omen, but they remained silent. It seemed to be a subject that one simply did not speak of, and I let the matter lie. I would never gain fame from such an encounter, but later on, such memories remained fond to me as a reminder of the small moments in life. Okay. Uh, that is where we need to go, but I am going to check out what this is. And it's an old camp. Uh, let's go for it. We don't have very much sanity, so we need to rest somewhere or eat. I approached the remains of an old campsite, apparently one erected by a failed ex expedition. The air stank of death and I wanted to leave as soon as possible. We can search. Um, yeah, there's a high chance of green, not so good on blue. So I'm going to take the blue just in case. Yep, good thing I did that. Jeez. Despite the sense of foreboding, I decided to, to search the camp thoroughly. Gratifyingly, I found something of value to justify the risk. Freaking shovels. Okay, let's uh, take a look at this. Approach the ancient circle. 
I approached the first of the stone circles. According to legend, the first piece of the map would be found here. Pulling forth a large roll of paper that I had brought for the purpose, I carefully copied the etchings on the stones. My map was beginning to take shape. Oh, I need to find three of them. Ooh, ooh. Do you think that... Hmm, there's nothing detected. Well, let's head this way. We're getting low on sanity. Oh, here we go. We could probably rest at this mission. Probably have to pay, though, to rest there. I was welcomed by the local missionary who was visibly relieved to have some company. Uh, can I send anything to Paris? Mm, nothing worthwhile. I'm going to hold on to those pearls. Uh, let's trade. Let's see what he has. He has earplugs. Not bad. Um, and nothing really else. Oh, the well weather balloons would probably be very useful here. Pearls? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do that. Because being that it's so hard to find things on this map, I'm going to need every... Oh, you know what? Let's, let's do these cost and flares too. Everything. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. That'll be worth it. That'll help us um, search. We're going to stay the night. If we wanted to stay to rest in this cleansed space, we would have to make a donation. Jerk. Uh, marbles? Hell yeah, marbles. <laughs> so his demands met. The missionary allowed us to rest overnight. After dinner, the missionary invited me to pray with him. Sure. Pray. Uh, praying came easy to me. Okay. Uh oh. There's a lot of wolves that are all around here. We have to fight. We do not have a lot of sanity. Okay, well, let's leave. Let's use one of the weather balloons. Now, my question is, let's... I'm going to have to move over here to see whether that is one of the stone circles. I don't want to go all the way to the northwest and find out, oh, the last of the stone circles is over there. So we're going to use that. That was not it. That was a scout post. Thank God. Okay. And I guess we're going to have to go back to here. Maybe probably pay, pay our way. Okay. Let's uh, use our truffle hog on lowland moor marsh, giving us cobalt earwax, which is what? Cobalt earwax is something that's worth, worth. Okay. Let's approach the mission again. And let's stay overnight. I have to make another freaking donation. Here, have some pearls. One pearl. No, I don't want to do that. Have some colorful marbles. <laughs> sure. The priest scurried off and quickly returned with several bottles of whiskey that he was inclined to share with us. Let's drink. We accepted his offer and passed the whiskey around. It was a splendid, uh, splendid vintage, and we enjoyed the evening immensely. I hope my tiger and my um, elephant enjoyed it. Okay, we got 71 sanity. Let's leave. Oh my goodness. Any way to get out? Uh, oh, what the heck is that? Wild kobolds. Huh, interesting. Oh, I guess. Let's approach the wild kobolds, see what that does. We approached the group of small creatures known as kobolds. They cackled as we approached their yellow as, the, as we approached. Their yellow eyes glowed with excitement. They didn't speak, but communicated with hums, grunts, and laughter. They did not seem to have evil intentions, but were very interested in the goods that we were carrying with us. Then one of the kobolds surprised me by speaking, wondering whether I would be interested in a little challenge of the mind. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the barter first. Uh, phoenix ashes, ignited ashes from a reborn phoenix. Interesting. A giant scale. Uh, let's see, algae. Mm, interesting things I can't really afford. Maybe I get rid of my parrot for all sorts of this stuff, right? This and this and uh, some of this. 
Let's just keep getting stuff. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. Sorry, parrot, but you gotta go. Okay. And I guess let's uh let's let's attack the the wolves. I don't want them to attack me. That's that's the thing. Oh, it's, oh, it's only one wolf. Okay. Come on. Let's roll again. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Okay, let's see. So what options do we have? Um, let's see. Let's see. Pounce. A high damage pounce. Mm. Let's see. Eight damage. No, we're gonna do a high damage pounce. Thirty-five damage. Okay, it's not the greatest, but not bad. We're gonna shield ourselves. It's gonna do thirty percent the damage with thirty percent chance to stun. Okay, not great. Now we can either bleed bleed them or we can burn them. Let's see. That is gonna be twelve, twelve and twelve, or um, let's see, some bigger number. So let's see, uh, that will be 12 damage and 25 bleeding, or uh, 38, I wasn't paying attention. 38 to 37, so it's very close, very close. We'll uh, bleed them out. Okay, and uh, end turn. Aha, locked. And we weren't stunned. We only get stunned if we if if we take damage, or or maybe there wasn't a ch or maybe we avoided that. Anyways, we'll do this. Shink. I scoured the battlefield for anything of value. We got some raw meat and black wolf pelt. Okay, let us keep moving. No, just go here. It's fine. Travel first. What's this? A cave. Why is there a thing pointing towards the cave for? Let's uh, use the cost and flare. Hmm. Not good. Not good. I imagine it's to the north. So the one in front of me. Oh, what's this? A wishing well. Take a look at the wishing well. Stacked stones formed a well formation which let out a bright blazing light. I approached the structure curious about what could possibly be down there. Standing near the edge, I heard a whispering voice. Was it coming from the well? The mystery of what could be down there tugged at me, but the slippery stones would not make it easy. Oh, we can trade. Ooh. Four. A gun, a whip. Star fruit. I might want the star fruit. Um, yeah, maybe the star fruit, but what do I have to trade? This and this for star fruit. I think that's worth it. Yeah, let's trade. Let's trade for that. One star fruit's better than nothing. Okay. So let's see. There's this cave right here. Let's see if I can interact with the cave from this. I cannot. Damn it. Okay. That sucks. Uh, let's use the weather balloon. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, we are running out of sanity. Let's eat the star fruit. Let's eat the algae. I might actually have to go to that village down there. Is there any way I can go? F can I go here and? Yeah. Why do? Why does it do that? Oh, because it uses up less sanity. What's this? Shaman hut. Okay, well, let's go here, I guess, and engage that. Stop, stop, stop. We're going to attack the black wolves again. Combat. Was that ambush? That wasn't an ambush. Otherwise, there'd be no attack options. Ah, oh, damn it. Not enough. Okay. Oh, we can stun them. Fantastic. Uh, let's stun and cause vulnerability. Then we are going to do gore with tusks. And then we are going to bleed them. And then we are going to pounce doing damage. Alright. 
What? You were bleeding and everything. That's not real, right? Come on, let's just do it. I checked the dead for valuables. We got the same thing. Okay, well, let's uh, check here. Approach the shaman hut. We approached a rather curious hut. A shaman beckoned us inside, surrounded by an assortment of occult accoutrements. As if time was moving slower for him, he, the, he brought out a box and pre presented his wares. Ooh, an obsidian skull, which, uh, let's see. It can damage and self-heal. Ooh, it's a, that's a pretty cool thing. And terror of the skull, stun. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Now, what can I trade for it though? I'm gonna need so much. Colorful marbles? <laughs> Giant scale? Yeah. I don't really want to trade that though. Hmm. Is that worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, maybe the view distance. So here, let's get rid of everything. I want one of these mushrooms. Yep. Yep. I want one of these mushrooms. Can I trade a colorful marble? Yeah. Okay, let's leave. Now, the question is, what is this thing over here? Can I use my last costume flare on it? Out of range. Ah, good thing I used it. Okay, so that so that is a place I need to go to. And since I'm so, I don't know, there's no way to get to that, that island. Man, this is a hard map to traverse. I really hope the last one is not there. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Okay, ancient circles. I entered a ring of stones for a second time on my journey. Immediately I saw that the second piece of the map was carved into the stones, here just as anticipated. I carefully matched my sketches from the first circle to my new designs, filling in several blank areas. My map was one step closer to completion. Okay, we are in troubles though. Okay, we are in trouble. We're in trouble because we have very little sanity and not that much food. Keep going. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's pray that this is the last spot. Otherwise, we're in trouble because that means the last one was right here. And we do not have the resources to get all the way back. Yes, that was it. But that, But there is something right there. So you know what? Let's go there and check it out. Uh, butterflies. There we go. And here's a waterfall, which we're gonna rest at. But bef uh, let's, yeah, let's rest there. Man, that uses up a lot of my, my sanity. We'll use uh, our truffle hog on the waterfall, giving us more algae. We'll do the didn't even need that keen-eyed mushroom. How is it? Uh, okay, now we're gonna approach the waterfall. I spied a large animal drinking from the water. I recalled legends of this beast, the red elk, said to be an omen of good luck. As I approached, it raised its head, looking at me with large eyes that spoke of an almost human intelligence. Let's see if we can tame it. I drew nearer, my hand stretched out for the great beast to sniff. It locked eyes with me, seeming to welcome me closer. After a time, I dared to lay hands on the animal, feeling its soft fur beneath my fingers. From that moment on, it stayed close to my side. Heck yeah, but I think my my team is a little bit overburdened. Uh, unless unless it's a free unless it's a free animal, which I doubt it is. What is its special things? Increases existing armor and strength statuses by. 22 percent uh, oh plus one standing every 40 days that's pretty cool uh, but uh, yeah okay well we're resting here as we lit, were laying out our bed rolls I noticed that some green bushes framing our camp looked somehow familiar I think I've seen this bush before Taking a closer look, I recognized the leaves. This was a, a cacao plant. Knowing of their uplifting effects, I gathered what I could before we went to sleep that night. Oh, nice. OK, 
Okay, so I think with the extra sanity, I'm going to check out this foggy area. Hopefully that doesn't cause anything bad. I do have too many Trek members. After days of rest, we enjoyed the sparkling effect of the, fall, uh, the falling water. The falls were glorious. Let's leave. Okay, so we do have too many Trek members. Will it let me move? No, it will not let me move at all. So I am, so the question is, do I keep Sir Durant, the Red Elk, level three, giving me green and blue, uh, green and blue. It would allow me to equip the heavy crates again and another animal, but I have spent my time leveling up my tiger and my elephant, which as you've seen, does a lot of damage. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to get rid of the, the, uh, the elk. Dismiss. The animal did not understand at first, so I drove him away with a few stout kicks. Okay. And let's check out this uh, mist. I don't know what the mist does, so... Oh, we can level up something. I'm gonna think I'm gonna level myself up. Level up. Okay. Let's check out this fog and then we'll head out. Oh, what's this? Approach a shrine. I could hear the roar of turbulent water as a great river lay buried beneath my feet. Inside was a small damp chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room. Let's search for secrets. Using one of my torch. Come on. Better luck today. Yeah. Okay. After pressing a suspicious stone, a hidden mechanism raised a golden sarcophagus from a recess hidden beneath the floor. Gave us a mummy and gave us some jewels. All right. Let's enter the altar chamber. Let's investigate the altar. It has ton, 10 pearls. We're going to take it all. We took the treasure and fled outside as an enormous spout of water swelled up through the walls and began to flood the surrounding area. Okay, we have to get... I really hope this works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The water is following me! <laughs> Let's approach the ancient circle. My heart began to beat faster as I came to the final stone circle. I was almost finished. At long last, my map was complete. I could not wait to return to Paris and plan my next expedition to recover the treasure. It was tricky. So I have to remember when I go to the Highlands, I have to, or if I go to the Highlands, I have to have a character that either buys uh, those uh, hiking gear or has uh, bonuses to climbing up mountains or uh, cliffs, because otherwise it's it's a very hard map. That, that, that was pretty, you know, pretty scary. But I think we're going to end the episode right here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on The Curious Expedition 2, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.